Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to explore spanning tree configuration on a fairly simple topology. I have my topology patched as per the lab schematic, as you can see on the screen. And we're going to get started by finding the root bridge in our topology. We need to start somewhere and I'm going to start on the distribution switch. Let me connect into the access server. And once I'm here, we'll start with the distribution switch, which is the 3750. And we can start off by a very simple command, which is simply show spanning tree. Show span is enough. Press enter and we find quite a bit of information here. Since we're looking for the root bridge, there is one thing very quickly we can look at, and that is the address of the root bridge versus the address of this bridge. At the top, we can see the address of the root bridge within the topology. And here we can see the address of this particular switch, and that is just the MAC address. Since we can see that they don't match, that simply tells us that this is not the root bridge. We also do not see up on the root ID block here anything that says this is the root bridge. And with Cisco, you will see that information. One other thing I want to point out while we're here is the priority. And we'll see that the priority is set to 32769 on both of these switches. Now the next point is, where is the root bridge in our topology? And we could go to each one of the switches, type in the same command, show span, and find out if there is a match. But we can get some hints to help us find, or at least look in the right place. I'm gonna do a command which is show span root, and that is going to give me some information about the root bridge relative to this switch that I'm on right now. And the thing I'm looking here for specifically is it will tell me the port on this switch that is connecting back towards the root bridge. So that tells me that port FA1 slash 0 slash 1 is going to the root bridge. If we look at the schematic, that tells us that endpoint 1 should be the root bridge. Let's check that out. Go back to my access server. I'm going to change into the 2960 switch. Here's endpoint 1. Let's execute the same show span command here. And once we've done that, we can see that the root bridge address is this, and the bridge ID for this particular switch is this. They are the same. Therefore, we know this is the root bridge. Also, we can see at the top here that this is the root bridge. So we know that we've now got connected to the root bridge, which is great. Next part of the lab is we want to configure the distribution switch to be the root bridge. Let me go back over to the root bridge, back to the access server, into the 3750 switch. And we need to make a configuration change here. So I'll change to global config mode. And what we're going to configure is spanning tree. So we'll say span. It's going to tab that out. We can see spanning tree. If we look at the different options in here, we can see a number of different things that we can configure. And we want to specify the VLAN that we're going to configure as the root bridge. So this is going to be VLAN 1, since it's our only VLAN. And the options that we have here to make this the root bridge are two, actually. One of them is we can simply say root. The other one is we can change the priority. And if we simply say root, all that's going to do is change the priority to something lower that will force this uh, switch to be the root bridge. Now, what we're going to do instead here is change the priority. So I'll just say priority, and I'm going to put in uh, a value that's going to be lower than that 32K value that we saw before. So I'm going to change this to 16384, which is going to be half of what the default priority is. And that's all we need to do for that. I'm going to give this a couple seconds until uh, Spanning Tree re-elects its root bridge, and then we'll take a look at that. 
Okay, let's take a look at our spanning tree configuration. And now we can see that there's a change that's been made. If we look at the root ID, both for this particular switch and for the root bridge, we can see that they now match here and here. If we look in the root ID block, we can see this bridge is now the root bridge. And also note the priority is now changed to 16K, which we made that switch a little bit earlier. Let's take a look at how this affects endpoint one. Switch back over to our 2960 switch. And we can see with the result of this that this switch no longer thinks that it's the root bridge. We don't see any information in the root ID block about this being the root bridge. We can also see that for this switch, the priority is 32769 and for the root bridge, it's half that. So that is telling us that this is no longer the root bridge. And on this switch, if we do the same command and say show span root, then this is telling us now that the root bridge is connected to gigabit one. And if we look at our lab schematic, we can see that gigabit one on endpoint one connects back to the distribution switch, which is our root bridge. Let's go back now to our distribution switch. And the next thing we need to do for the lab is change the mode so that we are in rapid per VLAN spanning tree. I'm still in global config, so we will say span. Again, looking at the options that we have for the spanning tree command, we can see that mode is one of our options, which is the one that we want. And if we look at the options we have now, we can see that the bottom one is rapid per VLAN spanning tree. So let's do that. And now we basically made that change so that we are in rapid per VLAN spanning tree mode. Rapid meaning, of course, it's going to take a much shorter amount of time to converge if there's a change in the bridge fabric. If we look at the output from our show span command, we can now see that we are rapid spanning tree as far as the protocol is concerned. You would, of course, do this for your other switches so that everything matches up. I'm going to take a minute away to do that, and then we'll carry on with the lab. Okay, so now the switches are all in rapid per VLAN spanning tree mode. Last thing we need to look at for the practice exercise is the port roles and states. A couple of things we can do here. One of them is we can simply look at the output of the show spanning tree command. Since there's only one VLAN, this is fairly easy. We can see on our distribution switch that all of the ports have the designated role and all of them are in the forwarding state. And of course that makes sense if this happens to be the root bridge. If we go and look at endpoint one, then we can see that we have two ports that are connected to other switches. Gigabit one has the root role, meaning that it's pointing towards the root bridge. And then gigabit two has the designated role and both of those are forwarding with respect to their state. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, I'm gonna go back over to our root bridge again. If you have multiple VLANs, it can start to get to be fairly complex with the output of the show spanning tree command. One of the things that we can do if we're looking at roles and state is to modify the output of the command a little bit. If we look at our options, we can specify specific interface or we can specify specific VLAN. I'd like to look, take a look at both of those. If we look at the results of the interface, we see for VLAN 1, we have the designated role in forwarding. That's the same as what we saw with the show span command, uh, except for the fact that this is locked down only to that one interface. 
Where this comes in really handy is if you have multiple VLANs, it will list each VLAN and what the role and state is for each one of those VLANs. The other thing we can do is also show the result of just the VLAN. And where this comes in handy, although it shows all the information about the VLAN, including all the different interfaces, if you have multiple VLANs, instead of just doing show span and getting all those VLANs coming up one after the other in multiple pages of output, here we just lock that down to the one VLAN and we can see all of the interfaces related to the VLAN. That is basically all you need to complete the practice exercise. And that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.